The official start of summer is later this month, but Mother Nature's wrath has already hit a few communities pretty hard. Pop-up showers and thunderstorms pretty normal this time of year, but can cause big problems with flash flooding. New at 6, News Channel 5's John Cole Newland is in our newsroom to show us what one city recently experienced. John Cole. That's right, guys. The Telehoma's Public Works Department tries to prepare for heavy rain ahead of time. However, they are not responsible for drainage issues on private property, and that meant a few businesses had to wait out the rain and then the flood. And it's 10% off today, Scooper Tuesday. Warmer weather is bringing in more customers to Goody Two Scoops in Tullahoma. How are you today? But sometimes the summer-like weather isn't as sweet as the treats they serve. Uh, Mother Nature's a, a very interesting yeah. piece of work. Late Sunday evening, they got a taste of what Mother Nature can do. It really came down in buckets. The customers inside had to wait it out, and when the rain left, they noticed another problem. The parking lot was completely flooded. There's a creek that goes through right here. So you. this water comes this way. Wayne Limbaugh is the director of Tullahoma's Public Works. I strongly suspect there was probably debris or stuff that got on some of these catch basins because we've never had a problem there. But this land does not fall under Public Works responsibility. That's because it's private property. Who's responsible for cleaning that? Well, they are. They are. They're, they're responsible for the maintenance on it. News Channel 5 learned the owners of the Forest Gallery Shopping Center is a real estate agency based out of Virginia Beach, Virginia. Our calls to them have not been returned. But Limbaugh says sometimes there's not much you can do when flash floods occur. Tullahoma's flat. I mean, it's a, it's a drainage problem anywhere you go in Tullahoma. And if you happen across an area that looks like this, it's always best to turn around. Well, you see Public Works employees that end up drowning trying to, you know, free up clogs and stuff. You definitely don't need to be driving in it. Water's powerful. Now, Public Works did say they res would respond to private property if there is a need. Now, the emergency management uh, agency there in Tullahoma did get a call about this latest flood. However, no one was trapped or injured. Of course, the water receded in just a few hours. In the newsroom, I'm John Cole Newman, News Channel 5 HD.